Hi guys, this is Avril Kifren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS slash performance on the new WWE 2K16 game. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, you can find a config file in a, in your uh, in your games file. Uh, so you should just open your C drive or the place that you install the game. User, the name of the user of your PC. My document. And after that, WWE 2K16, okay? So you will be there. It's uh, it's not like the, the, the game file of your game. It's more like a save file that uh, the game is creating on your uh, uh, computer. So just open the config file. And after that, you have all the parameter that you can change inside of the game. Uh, make sure that you save it when you uh, change it. So for me, uh, FXAA and msaa this is two different uh, way to uh for the anti-aliasing uh if you have like another a good computer or a bad uh, cpu you should go with fxaa because msaa you will see a big chunk of uh improvement if it's at off so if i'm you're using this i'm i was like losing seven fps and uh when i use fxaa i'm getting seven so you should look at this uh if you want you need your 60 fps just change it and use the FXAA. V-Sync off, make sure that it's always off. Even if you don't have a 144 Hz uh, screen, it's always better for your GPU. Quality, uh, audience density here, you can gain a, a good chunk of um, FPS. So it will not affect the experience of the game because you know it's the audience. So uh, if you have trouble with the uh, uh, your FPS, you should put like 50, and you will see a nice uh, gain of FPS, five to seven. Audience tessellation again, that one if you have a problem, just put off, and you will maybe if you, yeah, I gained when I went to 50, I gained six FPS, and when I removed the tessellation of the audience, uh, I gained three. So you can get like a very good chunk yeah, over there. Depth of feel again, it's when you're fighting, you don't want like a. It will be a kind of a blurry the depth of feel. Uh, I gained four FPS with that option. Again, if you you need it, just change it. Motion blur, motion blur, it's the a, an effect that I don't like inside of the game. So I always put off even if I have a good computer because I don't like it shadows shadows you will see a really good chunk so uh, you should put off you will gain straight up 7 FPS and for me it's not something important in a game it uh, doesn't throw me off when I have my shadows at off simple lighting you can put it on uh, or off you will gain maybe 1 to 2 FPS so not that much so you should just maybe stay at uh, on Texture quality, here we make sure that zero is high, one is medium, two is low. So make sure that uh, zero doesn't mean low, so it's really high. Uh, for each bracket, I was gaining three FPS, and you will see a big decrease in the graphic of the game. So you should probably go with one if you have a bad computer. Don't go too low because you will see a big uh, uh, decrease. Rate, uh, don't touch uh, those one. And again, if you have like a really, really bad computer, just change your resolution. Don't go full uh, HD, maybe put 720p and uh, you will uh, have a really good gain. Save the file. After that, make sure that you put the file at read only because the game can override your file if you save something. Uh, so if you want to keep your config like that, just save it and put it at README. If you have any question about the game and uh, the, um, the rig that you have or something you want to buy uh, about FPS and performance out of the game, don't hesitate. Just comment in the YouTube section. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.